What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Punning for the People. For those of you who do not know, my name is Jacob. I am an Australian living in this wonderful country of Germany, working, studying, playing football, and making YouTube videos. If you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I've made many, many videos and I plan to make many, many more. And I hope you uh, want to be a part of that. For today's video, I am going to take the theme of my recent couple of videos about my German course and learning German and all the crazy twists and turns and surprises or überraschungs that come with it and talk to you guys about some of what I think or also what Google thinks is some of the hardest words to pronounce. It kind of sparked in my mind today when I was in my German course, in my A2 German course. There was a couple words that came up that were a little bit crazy as in I couldn't even break them down to spell them out. I thought, why not put myself to the test, give some of my German viewers a laugh if I pronounce these wrong, and uh, and see if I can tackle some of the hardest German words to pronounce. I'm expecting these words to be quite long. I don't really know of any German words that are quite short that are hard to pronounce. I'm guessing there might be a lot of umlaus in the words, but I guess we're just gonna have to jump in and find out. So of course, I am gonna be helped out today by the very lovely MacBook. Uh, I'm gonna just put up some Google searches for hardest German words to pronounce and pronounce it. Okay, so to begin with, we're gonna get one of the favorites out of the way. I think I'm actually pretty good at pronouncing this word. It is squirrel or squirrel in German. Uh, and the way it is spelt kind of, I guess, tumbles a couple of people. But as long as you keep your pronunciation pretty well, I think it's not too bad. Eichhörnchen, uh, hopefully that was good, that was only my first try, but Eichhörnchen is a squirrel or a squirrel. I know there is also um, a word for the squirrel or squirrel tail, uh, which adds on to Eichhörnchen, but probably one of the ones that gets the most trouble from foreigners is of course Eichhörnchen. Eichhörnchen. Eich Eichhörnchen. Let me know how I did. Next up, and this is some things that I talk about in all my videos about tra direct translations and these kind of things in my videos. Um, some of these things have the most simple names in English, but when you put them into German, it's kind of like, whoa. So the next one is a matchbox, something that you put matches in. Uh, and to directly translate it, I'm pretty sure it's called in English, strike wood bag. So it's strike hus schachel. Strike Streich hüls schatschel. Schatschel. My god. Matchbox. Um so strike hüls satch that strike schatschel. And it's also it's feminine, so it's D Strike hüls Oh man, this is too fun. Uh, okay, the next one is something that I am very, very much um, a part of, and that is the word competitive in English. I am super competitive with everything I do, and that is in German, wet, wet bewerbs weg. Wet bewerbs fig. It's hard because it's an F and then an A with an umlaut and then hig. So it's like fair hig. Wet bewerbs fig. Fig? Fig. Fig. Wet bewerbs fig. Competitive. Wet uh, bewerbs. It's hard because W's and V's, like Germany, you have to do your W's like a V. So it's like wet. Wet bewerbs fig. Let me know if I'm doing that right. Let me know if I'm doing that. I'm pretty sure wet bewerbs is right, but it's fair hig. Wet bewerbsfähig. I think that one was the best one. Let me know. The next one kind of comes into a little bit of a direct translation. It's pollution in English. So pollution, like you're polluting the earth. And that in German is, actually this one's not too hard because I know the words. So Umweltverschmutzung. Verschmutzung. Die Umweltverschmutzung. That's, that's pretty easy. Ich hasse Umweltverschmutzung. How's that? Okay, this one's this one's different. Um, this one is like a label for a package. It's feminine, so it's D, but it's uh, so it's like something you put on a present, like a label. Uh, uh, it's actually saying it's saying to la it's labeling. So I'm guessing it's the action of doing it. 
So this is labeling is etiquette et, etiquetterum 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 etic etic etic. It's hard because same thing. There's there's so many e's and so many t's. You don't know where to split it up. It could be et etiquetterum or etiquetterum or etic etir etiquetterum d etiquetterum 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 is that right next up of course a classic i think i'm pretty good at this one as well because i order this so much and i do enjoy eating this so it's a bread roll so you've obviously got brut like brut like a piece of bread but then you got brutchen which is uh, a bread roll like a, a Einstuck. So you got Brötchen, 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 Brötchen. That one was good. The next one, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know why this is one, but I think this is actually pretty hard because I'm not very good with my S's because in Germany, S's are pronounced uh, look differently when it comes to SCH. So this is winter time, so you can go Schlittschuhlaufen. 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 This is ice skating, so literally translates to ice shoe running, or like kind of like Schlitt. Schlitt 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 These aren't even words. Okay, these ones are these. I'm just gonna start rattling them off. So this one is in English. It's motor vehicle liability insurance. Motor vehicle liability insurance. Kraft Versuchhaftpflichtversicherung. Kraft Versuchhaftpflicht. Kraft Versuchhaftpflicht. Versicherung. Kraft Versuch Haftpflichtservicherung. That's not a word. Um, the next one is insurance companies that offer legal protection. So that's Rechtsschutz Versicherung Gesellschaft. Yeah. Rechtsschutz Rechtsschutz Versicherung Gesellschaften. Rechtsschutz Versicherung Gesellschaften. That was pretty good. This one has like 20 letters. Okay, so this one in English is the regulation for the prescription of an anesthetic. Okay. Betäubungsmittelverschreibungsverrundung. Betäubungsmittelverschreibungsverrundung. Betäubungsmittel. Betäubungsmittelverschreibungsverrundung. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Okay, and finally, last but not least, is a Beef Labeling Monitoring Delegation Act. Okay, this is Rindfleisch Etikett. It's literally the labeling word inside like 70 other words. Eh? Rindfleisch Etikett. Rindfleisch Etikettierung Überwaschungsaufgaben Übertragungsgesetz. One more time. Rindfleisch Etikettier. Rindfleisch Etikettierung Überwaschungsaufgaben Übertragungsgesetz. I think I did pretty good. Guys, I'm hoping these fit on the screen because I am going to put up all the correct spelling and um, hopefully I'm going to get that right. Uh, but I really, really hope I don't ever have to use these in real life. Motor vehicle liability insurance. I hope I don't have to go to the place that sells Kraft Versicherung and actually say that word cleanly every time. Uh, <laughs> Uh, also, I hope I stay healthy, uh, knock on wood, uh, that way I don't have to get regulation for the prescription or a, of an anesthetic or a Betalbschmittel of the Schreiber of Vorungung. Oh man. <laughs> oh 
my gosh. But guys, that is it for this vlog. Um, I thought, I just wanted to have a little bit of fun. I, met, I have fun in my German course, making fun of the teacher and always going on about the D-Dare Das thing. And today, I think it was like, Ve Wechselfahren Zedischkeit or something that came up on the screen. And it just made me think of, there are a lot of funny words in Germany that I don't even know of. I don't even know how to say. And some of the ones that I do know how to say are just dwarfed by these crazy words. So I thought, what wouldn't be a, a fun idea, uh, which I haven't done yet, is to get in front of the camera and try and say a couple of these words. I'm obviously learning the language, so why not try and at least uh, advance my skills in U uh, and A and T and all the different pronunciation rules inside German. Uh, but I hope you did enjoy. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I'll try and do a couple more videos like this in the future. Um, if you have any recommendations, I'd love to hear them. Any comments about my pronunciation, please leave them below. And um, as for now, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jacob and this is Punning for the People. I will see you guys in the next video.